Guys, today we're building a new hall. All right, let me explain a little bit more. We're not building a new boat. We're building a section of a hull to represent the hull of our boat. It's just gonna be a key visual because we want to explain a little bit more about what's going on with the ribs and how it's being made. But before we do that, we need to build a section of the hull. So that's what we're gonna be focused on today. It's going to be a different style of video. We're going to try to do it very raw, very, what's the word? <laughs> Unfiltered and probably uncensored. So keep in mind, there's probably gonna be some swearing in here, but we're just experimenting with this new style and let us know what you think. But in the meantime, you're just, be, you're just going to be part of building that new hall with us. So let's get to it. So we need like 20, 20 layers, so 10 cuts. Is that about 40? That's about 40. Nice. And I'll just put that on top, I guess, or we can just measure again. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do like an actual 40 this time. Um, so that this, then, then this, this one will be our reference point. All right, hold your end. What the fuck is the 40? Close enough. Plus or minus half a centimeter. Totally fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Good enough. Okay. And then we can just use this one as our reference point. That's two. Put this away. This is heavy. It's super heavy. What I was doing was like, watch, roll it this way. And then, and then unroll. It, and then unroll it this mm, way. Good idea. And now let's use this one as a reference. Gonna be trimming all of it anyway. All right, that's, this is um, three, four. We'll probably do one more. But we're gonna do like. Yeah, yeah. We're but we need, we need ten of these, so we can so cut in half five. and do twenty. So we need ten of these, so we can cut it in half and do twenty. Oh, do twenty. Got it. Okay. Lift. Kiga. Yep. A bit bigger. It doesn't matter. As long as they're close-ish. Like, I'd rather have our sort of, like, fake hull section be thicker than our actual hull than thinner. Mm. If that makes sense. That's because we're building it out of CSM, so. It's so, like... Chop strand Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> Chop strand matty. Lift, lift. Oh, wait, wait, wait. just pull it. Pull it. It's all it's all just rips apart anyway. Four. 
four, five, six. This is seven. So we need three more. <laughs> White. All right, now let's lay them out. That's two, three, four, five. And we'll just cut it in half. Yeah. Six. Uh, do you want to ruler it? Where's half? Or maybe we just cut that in half with scissors. Somewhere. It really does not have to be that exact. Nice. Ten layers of chopstick and mat. It's working. It's not easy, but it's working. These scissors work better than our giant metal scissors that we had yeah. for all of our fiberglass projects. This is amazing. It's so tiny. Yeah. They're meant for Kepler. All right, step all right. those up. See how thick that is. Pretty thick. Oof, nice. Yeah, that would be about... That's about, about a hull. It's about a hull thickness. Right. A, I mean, it's a really thicker. shitty hull. It's just all chop strand that. <laughs> it's not about the structure of the hull. It's about the... Representation. Yeah. It's a template. But like our hull is not that thick. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a really? Yeah. Okay. It's a centimeter thick. All right. All right. Let's well, glass let's, it up. Let's, uh, let's, let's glass a hull. Ooh, comes out quick. We're going to call that 500 mil. <laughs> Feels like about 500 mil. <laughs> we mix that at 2 we'll say 2%. Start up. Well, we should have plenty of time to do this too. This isn't like epoxy that's going to kick in like 20 minutes or something. If we leave it in the pot, we should have like eight hours or whatever. Yeah. All right. Today on the Den and Kika cooking show, we've got our gloves on like surgeons and we're going to make a solid glass of fiber. That sounds great because fiber is something that you eat, mm. and a glass is something you use to. A glass of fiber, you know, it's just like a, it's, it's like solid. Me, it's like metamucil. Yeah, and it's solid you know. because it's going to be a. Don't eat it. Solid. Yeah, so we're just um, we're just using a bunch of chop strand mat to build up the thickness ish of our actual hull for this little like section model prototype that we're making to explain what's going on. This isn't supposed to be structural. It's just supposed to be representational. 
Um, we're also using vinyl ester because that's what they're using on the inside of the boat mm -hmm. because it's cheap and convenient and 95% as good as epoxy. Yeah, we're basically using this as a template to replicate what they're, use, what they're doing yeah. inside of the hull with the foam, but we don't want to use the structural fiberglass because it would be a waste. It's expensive. I mean, it's, there's no point, right? Because no. this is just as a visual All right. for you guys. So, whew, it's been a while since we did Glass this. Glass it up, this. buttercup. Let's do this. Just, like, just pour, yeah. Just like. Probably should have used the, it's blue. Yeah, vinyl ester. It kind of turns green. Smear it around. I'll mix up another batch while you're using this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, how or about you can I do, start wetting. Pick, pick it up a little bit. Slide it towards you. Oh, slowly, slowly, slowly. And now I can do this. Oh no, maybe not. I can do this. Mm, or I can do here. This. Why? I don't know. So you can like have access to it. Here's easily. fine. Yeah. I can do this. Before. It's yeah, so it should be clear. Now, because we put peel ply on the bottom of it, it's gonna like take a little while to soak through. But I was gonna say, should we have, should we not have um, wet on the bottom before the no, first I mean, layer? like technically, yes, but like w the point of this isn't for that. The point of this, uh, and we put the saran wrap down so it doesn't absorb into the hull, right? Into the wood. We don't want it to absorb into the. But like, I think it's gonna be fucking fine. All right, let me mix you another one. It. Man, it absorbs, it absorbs a lot. Like, if we were actually doing this legitimately, yes, but because we're just sort of like winging it for like a demonstration purposes, <laughs> nobody gives a shit. No. It's just, so, it's just to act as a base layer to put the foam in. Because our idea is in the episode that we're going to show that the foam, the foam is going against the hull, I think it'll be really cool to show how they make it. And in order to properly show, we just have to make a piece ourselves. It also reminds everyone that we've done this before and we totally could do this ourselves, but we have other things to do as well. So it's good that we can hire external help. Otherwise this project's gonna take us like 10 years. Yeah, we were just discussing this morning actually that we are very optimistic. Cause I was like, oh yeah, definitely gonna be done in a few months, the whole project. It's gonna be done by, you know, by the end of the summer. And then was saying that I was maybe a little bit too optimistic thinking it's, it's gonna to be do. done. But I think if we really focus, if we're, because the, the guys that are doing the fiberglass now, they're only hired to do this part. And they everything else another, we're basically gonna do ourselves, like the plumbing, the electrical. They still have like another week to do, at yeah. least, because we still have to do all the cockpit and we still have to glass the whole interior of the hull. Um, and we'll probably get help along the way to do some of the other monotonous, mundane stuff, because if it's just the two of us, it would take us a year and filming it you have to double that time so it take us two years <laughs> and so we've got to like make sure this process gets sped up as much as we can and not like waste our money i mean if we hired somebody to do the whole project that would be a kind of a waste of money but the fact that we're doing it ourselves definitely helps definitely helps all right layer one of chop strand that should absorb it pretty quickly yeah it's, start it's starting to already actually And so you said this is slow kicking. Like it doesn't. It's not slow kicking. It's just because it's vinyl ester, and we're and we're and we have a catalyzer. Like, it's it's um it's going to be and that's kind of cold. It's going to be a bit slower than. Like like it's not going to like start melting in your hand. It's so flaky. This stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. Don't don't like smush it in. Just like. I'm just yeah. I'm just trying to make sure the resin soaks in. Yeah yeah. Just like pour it on, and you can almost just use a roller. We don't have a roller. Um, Do we have a roller? I mean, I don't have don't it in front of me. Or I can use my hands too, but it's just gonna get messy. No, don't use don't your hands. Have... You're, 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 if it's that dry, like pour more on. We don't want a dry layup. Then we're gonna use way too much resin. No, we're not. We're gonna use just the right amount of resin. Probably. It looks like the saran wrap's gonna do okay. It's not like immediately melting through. Yeah, just like dab, 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 dab. Don't like smush it. Yeah, that's too much smushing. Pour more on, it's too um, dry. We do have a roller somewhere in here maybe. Yes. So yeah, as you go, like if you want to, 
yeah. worked air bubbles out of it. I mean, we don't have to be like super careful, but we should like pretend like we know what we're doing. You want to do the whole, like, all the way to the edge, or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, uh, I meant, like. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the edge should be. We're probably going to be trimming the edge off anyway, so we have, like, a nice well. clean, but, like. Especially that this corner is a bit overlapping, so I don't want it to just drip. Yeah, you don't want to, like, smear the edge too much, but we definitely want it to be, like, a nice. Wet a layer. nice solid glass of fiber. A nice solid glass of fiber. That's pretty good. Oh, that's the next layer. Yeah. Oh, this one is the. Okay. Definitely want like a good. Hang on. Do you want to maybe like push this? I want to get that base layer nice and flat too. Uh, it's like it's good. Yeah, it's probably. Fine. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah, good. I don't want. To I mean, it'll, it'll absorb enough anyway. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna like trim that anyway. I'll overlap on the other side this time so that... Oh, no, just, it doesn't really matter. Well, some pieces are bigger, that's why. Yeah, yeah, of course. Ooh, it reminds me of having a dog, but a very shabby yeah, dog. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just goes everywhere. All right, do you want to... Um, yeah, I'll give just, you this one. Just dump that and then start using this one and I'll mix you another one. That's why we have a 200 liter drum of resin. That's good. Yummy. Oh, that's like really full. Mm-hmm. Oh, the sweet smell of fiberglass and resin. Fiberglass resin in the morning, yeah. Probably. Hopefully we're doing this right. I've never used vinyl ester before. Ah, <laughs> yeah. It's the same. It's good practice for when we actually start doing because we're going to do the rest of the boat probably in vinyl ester too because <laughs> we have a bunch of it, so we may as well. I mean, I don't see why it would be different than... Well, I'm just hoping I'm mixing it correctly with the Oh, right, with the mixer. Although we, we built the Hefty Susan with vinyl ester. Did we? Yeah, because of the chop strand mat. Because hmm. it absorbs the bonds that keep chop strand mat together so that it turns into a much more flexible material. Is this just going to be like a two-hour podcast? Yeah. <laughs> as long as the phone is still recording, <laughs> which it might not, but, you know. You know not to push too hard with that with a roller, right? Like mm -hmm. it's 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 basically like gravity feed. <laughs> I like how we're spending like two days building a visual model of what they're doing inside. <laughs> Yes, otherwise it's hard to understand. Yeah, it's kind of I true. It'll also be it. interesting to see, I think it's going to be interesting to see like how thick what they are. Because like when you lay glass, it, you never really look like it's thick and because you, you taper it. Cause, so it, it never looks like there's a hard edge, but it'll be interesting to see because we're going to build it the exact same way they're building it inside with the mm -hmm. same material and the same mix. And so it'll be interesting to see how, um, how thick it ends up being with all the layers once we cut it in half and we're done. Absolutely. Should we just turn your phone into time-lapse mode now because it's just going to be more of the same for the next 20 minutes? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> how's, your, uh, how's your brain? I think we just realized that we should be doing this outside. because We're used to epoxy, we're and epoxy doesn't high. have the same VOCs <laughs> that this shit does, but this is... Yeah, this is pretty toxic stuff. We should be either wearing our mask inside or well, move it outside. We have the, like, the ventilator ones, but they are just for dust, because we had them for grinding. They're not for uh, vapor, Fumes, and yeah. so we need to... 
Let's move this outside yeah, set so that at down, least set we'll that have down. air. Just How are we gonna? Should I just like take this, and then like you take that, and then I'll just set it down once you come back outside with it. Oh, this is also in the way. We thought that ours was gonna be ventilated enough. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll do you want take to pick this that? outside. Oops, it's sticking. All right, I'll meet you outside. I'll take these. It's a smart idea. Just watch the cable on your way out. Maybe we put it like in front Here, of Here, in the... the shade or something. What if we put it like... We'll be back after these brief messages. All right, we're moving outside. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can just stay here. Like, I'll still mix it inside. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. All right. Oh, uh, I need the fiberglass pieces. <laughs> did you hit record again? Yeah, I did. Uh, maybe we, we leave these, like, floor. It's kind of windy. Maybe we just leave these, like, here. Yeah, I can just, and just like, yeah, reach over I and grab, grab them. them. All right. It's not on, um, last two of them. Although it's a little windy, but. Be all right. Yeah, fire it up. Well, oh, that's much better. Yeah. <laughs> I can breathe. Oh, shit. I'll mix it out here, too, probably. Mm. Can you like walk over to the back of the of the phone and see if um, you can see? Because I just draw, I just put it there, but I don't know if you yeah, can totally. see. Yeah, totally. I mean, you can see you. Can you see like taller than me? No. No. So you you need to be the yeah. behind or. <laughs> I'll just show it from time to time. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Um, and then I'm just, that's recording for now. Okay. Uh, on regular, and we'll do a. We'll switch it. We can do a time lapse later. Yeah, this is much better. <laughs> now that we're outside, there's a breeze. I don't even smell the resin. It's great. It's uh, much safer on my lungs, I would say. Yeah, we'll uh, retain a few more brain cells now. <laughs> Although this audio is gonna be shitty because uh, we don't have the fluffies on our microphone. Well, it's a good test to see how it works without the fluffies. When was the last time we had a fiberglass project? Like a big fiberglass project? Passerelle. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a, a year ago when we built our passerelle. <laughs> I don't even think that was a big fiberglass project. It was just a... Just like leftover shit yeah, we happen to have. That was just like a while we're here. Let's do a project project. <laughs> um, uh, Norfolk, when we did the fiberglass work to get the stanchion bases. Yeah, I would installed. say. Because cause in Norway, we never did it. Oh, actually, the water maker. When we needed to. Uh, we didn't fiberglass much for that. We didn't fiberglass anything? Did we not no. we just cut do holes the box? And shit. No. no, we just cut mm. holes and shit. Yeah, it, might, it, it could have been before the Atlantic crossing, so like 2019. Wow, it's a while ago. No wonder we, no wonder we like. It's Forgot. Intim it's, no wonder it's intimidating. It's like, it's, fuck. Do you remember how to do this? I'm like texting Andy, like, hey, <laughs> can you have tips and tricks for fiberglassing? It's like, it's not intimidating. Not. Okay, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're we're, so pretty we're much halfway. halfway. <laughs> only halfway. To be fair, I think our hull is like three or four layers of woven roving and then like like three or four layers of chop strand in between. Like it's not it's not very thick. You think there's chop strand in our hull? Yeah, oh hundred percent. No, in between each layer of woven roving there's chop strand. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. But these like two layers of um 
by axe that we're putting in on top is going to be probably stronger than the layers of woven that we're putting in that, that, that the, like, like the two millimeters of by axe that's going in mm -hmm. is going to be as strong as like the eight millimeters of woven roving and chop strand mat that was in there already, which is kind of funny. We could totally do a live cam. Mm. On OnlyFans. On OnlyFans. <laughs> like you want to see, you want to see like, like the oh, raw, see uncut some, uh, reveal, ASMR. like Uma, Uma revealed. <laughs> on undressed. OnlyFans. Uma undressed. Put some like AI provocative, mm. like make a sail, make a sexy sailboat. <laughs> I mean, if it's boat porn, you know. Belongs on uh, OnlyFans. Not to be confused with goat porn, which is just goat. super weird. I no, there's no way goat porn's a thing. Let me get actually get these wet because that's two layers now. Uh, you don't need to go like back and forth so much. Just do like like long like yeah like that, like long presses all, from one edge all the way to the next. There you go. Yeah, that's better. Almost done. Mm-hmm. A little bit of dab. One dabs. more layer of that, and then we'll do that, and then we'll ch put some, um, and then I'll strip off and put some, uh, cut a piece of peel ply, and then we'll peel peel ply it. Yeah, that'll be that'll be a nice thick hull base. Yeah, I think. that'll be enough. I mean, we're not we're not building a boat. We're just. Doing a just getting the point across that there's like between eight and twelve mils of fiberglass somewhere along the line of our boat. Mm. We're still rolling Dad. over here. How long is this going? Oh, it's only twenty-five minutes. It's also on wide angle, so. Yeah, wide angle is good. Otherwise, you won't see. Yeah. You wouldn't see. Uh, the last. I mean. I mean, you, we have. You can probably like grab it and just. No, well, this isn't the last it. one. The last that layer. Is the last no, one. the last layer is gonna be the last layer. Oh, of, it's going to be a with different... With a biax. Right. Um, and I'll also I'll probably take my gloves off for that, and I'll film you doing it, and putting the peel ply on, and rolling it out, and then being like, and we're done. Okay. Last layer. This is like a real layer. This, this is the, the top of the sandwich. This is the bun of the burger. <laughs> you making shit up again. The cherry on the cake. No, because we started with it and we're ending with it. You could probably just roll it. We'll see if it needs more, more I resin. I think it will need more. I mean, we have more. That's the last layer, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you may as well use it. That's enough. <laughs> My hand is stuck.
Ok. Fingers are stuck. Uh, you want to put the peel ply on? Oh, yes. We're not quite done yet. We have one more. Same thing, just like lay it on and then do like a light roll and it should, it should just absorb. Okay. Is it already cut? Yeah, it's down there. Okay. Trick is to get it to cover fully in one go. I might. Should be oversized a little bit. Yeah, which is good. All right, sweet dreams. My little layers. Perfect. And then I'll just, uh, just roll the air bubbles out. You don't. You don't need to press too hard on that. How's it looking, Chef? Looks amazing. This is so cool. Just trying to get a little bit of the air bubbles out, but I feel like this is what, the kind of thing where it's like paint, where the more you mess with it, the more... It you fuck it up. Fucks it up. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna remove that one bubble and then poof, all the bubbles come back out. But I think this is pretty good. Soaking in. Yeah. And nice. now we wait. So we're going to store it inside, probably, right? And that's how you build a hull. You just have to do that bigger. And you have a boat. <laughs> it's probably about as much chop strand that and that as there is in our actual boat, too. <laughs> yeah. At the end, just to see how it goes. All right. Well, this is it. I'm not going to touch it because I removed my gloves already. Looks good. It looks pretty good. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's going to be close to the, to the thickness of our actual hull. We're trying to get to about a centimeter. Yeah. About half an inch. So, I think it's our our hull's about when we had it ultrasound it was like 0.85 was the thinnest and like around 11 and a half was the thickest. So if we get it close to a centimeter, it'll be a pretty good an accurate average visual representation of how thick our hull is. Yeah. Even though it's just like by accident, then 22 layers of chop strand and then by accident again. It's, it's just a, a representation. It's a cheap, it's a cheap haul. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we're going to come back tomorrow and this will be dry and uh, we'll start... Glassing the rib on. Glassing the ribs just rib to show on. you guys. But that is it for this little update and we'll see you guys next time. shot I was inside in the dark <laughs> and then closed me in <laughs> which I didn't expect was going to be that dark to be it's honest it's kind of scary <laughs>